Hey guys and girls, okay, now this is going to be a bit of a hardcore video and I apologize in advance, it's a little bit to get your head around and it's something that you've never done before, well some of you might have, I completely take that back, but it's kind of when I first originally done this, I kind of had my head exploding in a million pieces. So, we're going to take off from where we left off, we basically spat out a single file and now I've come back into media pool and I've kind of lit up these assets here, so I had a master timeline and I had this and I exported out a folder to my desktop, which was called DC Master. What we're gonna do now is that we're gonna add in the CPL um, playlist and then we're gonna add an asset to the end. We're gonna add some text. We're gonna export out a supplemental one of that. And I'm gonna show you the real key benefits of how it all kind of mashes together. So again, stay with me. We're gonna get through this together, okay? So what I want to do is that I want to grab a bin and start a bin up straight away. So I'm going to name this as the master assets. Don't need to do this in any way, shape, or form. It's just me enjoying my um, ability of <laughs> OCD. In here, I'm going to do IMF sequences. Okay. So that can come out of there. Right. So now we've got these guys through here. And here's this master timeline that we just did, okay? So back to here, um, we want to grab all this and chuck master asset in here and master assets in here. Gotcha, righto. Now, next, let's go grab, we've got the, the hard top here, let's go grab the convertible. So the convertible is living here and just drag that into master assets. Righto, so that convertible and the sequence. Next, we want to grab, this is where it gets a bit interesting, our previously exported one, which is this whole folder and drag it in. Okay, so that's interesting. Now right click and there's a whole new thing up here called create new timeline with composition playlist. You click this and this is where your head needs to get understanding. So this is going to grab in all the data that we had before in the previous one. And in this case, we're going to call this the master out and click create. That will give us a brand new timeline. If I click this, we're now open to timeline, focusing on that CPL information, and it's ready to add a new one. So let's go to our master assets. Let's find the convertible. Let's chuck that around about here. Zoom in the timeline and trim that up a tiny bit. Not like that. We'll trim it up like this. Um, obviously, blading, that sort of deal. I get it. You know, don't hate. So starts a. Uh, a coupe, then it goes into a convertible. Magic, magic, magic. So we'll also add ourselves a little bit of text. So I'll grab a text and I'll jam that here. And what we'll do for argument's sake is that this text module could say dealer. Amazing, right? And then I'll change that to black so you can obviously see it. And there we go, and do that. Right. Position the text wherever you want. Obviously not over the car is a good deal. So we'll grab that and we'll just chuck it up the top. Okay, you get the idea. So now we've started off with a coupe and then we're gonna have these end tags of a dealer with the text. Follow me so far? Good. Okay, so now this one, I wanna shoot over to my delivery and then up the top, go to the desktop, that's fine. And I'm gonna call this master out as a plane flies. Beautifully close to our house. Now, supplemental package. This is new. So when I click this, everything else will be all cool. It's gonna grab the previous versions of the uh, house, how high it was, how high, all of its things. I need to now make this back to 100. You could save all this as a preset, by the way. And then down through here, I can then do this and call this dealer uh, 01. I can make this dealer because all this metadata is fantastic. So this could be DC multi or whatever you wish to do here, okay? And there's dealer one, current date. When I add this to the render queue, watch what happens here. There's the previous one I spat out, the single one. If I do this, you go, my God, nothing's happening. Oh, what happened? And then it's gone. So, <laughs> watch this. 
I've got another folder here called master out. I deliberately done that by not putting it into here, by putting it here. Every time Re Resolve Studio spits out something, puts it into a, a kind of a folder. It's kind of the preference for it. If I grab all of these little bits, I don't want the uh, volume index or the asset, asset library. I'll grab them, I'll put a purple against that, and I'll drag all of these assets and put it into the original one because this is where the original file was looking for, okay? And now I've got all the assets through here, all have got unique identifiers. Now, if I grabbed my original CPL, drag it in the switch, play it. There's the original file, there is nothing there, it only goes for four or five seconds, okay? Nothing there. I now grab my CPL, which is the second one, which is the supplemental package, grab that, drag it into here, it will start off the sedan, press play, start off sedan, and then like witchcraft, boom, it's there. So it's concatenated it on the fly. That's the key here. I can get back and forward on this, so I can do what I wish here. And it's a bit hating me when I do that, because it's like, what are you doing? There it is. So doing frame by frame uh, can be done. Would I be doing that all the time? Well, absolutely not, because the key process of this is to grab this and transcode it into a CDM friendly file, into a flattened file or whatever. Now here's the key point. If I look at my original video and it's 38 meg, it's only five seconds, okay? Probably a pretty bad example. If I look at the last bit, 15 meg, so it's half the size. If I keep adding all these end titles to that, it would have been a majority of them is 15 megabits in size. If I would have done all consecutive ones of whole asset, I would have been out at 38. So again, doubling up in size. I've got the asset on for two seconds, it's half the size, makes sense. So what you do is that this entire folder would then go along for the ride and then these CPL and um, PKL files would all be associated. So let's put this to the test. If I grab my CPL file, which is the one I've created and I open that up, drag this over here. So there's a whole load of fun stuff and you know, it's got my BM dealer and that sort of deal. You know, I love a bit of metadata. There it all is. Love it. Now, if I look at my original video and grab that and now come over to my CPL that I've added, find this, it's gone and found that file. Now that's good. That's the originated file. That's what we want. Okay. And it's saying it's 120, but it's only showing 71 of these frames now. If I grab the extra video that we just made and then search that, do that, there it is. So if we've got um, AC, AC, and there's ours right there, okay? So this goes on and on and on. So if you keep adding more elements to this, the CPL keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And this is how it gets really, really benefit of CPLs and OPLs. Now an OPL, there's not much in here right now. Now this is a working kind of uh, format, I wanna say, or a process. And the KPLs themselves, they're just basically showing where everything lives as well. So if I fire that bad boy up, there it is. That's kind of saying, right, everything is here. Kind of the shopping list or the, the map of where it's at. So that's how you do a supplemental. Very, very, very lightweighted approach to it. But I'm really focusing on the advertising side of this as well. So I really want you to understand that if you go and make it, you bring in the, uh, the IMF package itself or the IMP, then you make a sequence out of that. Then you add your assets. Now the gotchas I did get, if I just put um, text on there, right? I had some hit and misses that it wouldn't actually render out the text. I also done some color grading, it worked quite solid. So I could grab it, chop up the original file, color grade it, and it would spit out those elements for it as well. So I believe Resolve, are re uh, the guys at Blackmagic are really pushing forward on this and are gonna do a great, great job. It's the cheapest and easiest one I've seen out there. Now, to make it very clear, there is some enterprise great stuff out there doing this already and doing it in mass. And secondly, the ST2121, which is the SEMTI version of this, is actually said it's going to be ProRes. You saw I was doing Kakadu um, K2J, so 2KJ, sorry, um, which is what is out in the market right now. It's an open source. When they fold in ProRes, this will be a lot more stronger, a lot more harder as well. So I'd be very, very interested to see how this is. So there we go, guys. You've got your IMF supplemental packaging in Resolve Studio 16. Hopefully that helps. And please get out and have fun. Again, don't forget, have a great day.